Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo thinks Australia could one day join the ASEAN ranks. His comments come as Australia hosts all 10 Southeast Asian leaders at this weekend's summit, a rare honour for a non-member. Political reporter Stephen Jedgetts is covering the talks. Hello, good morning. Could the host Welcome to Sydney. one day join the club? Yeah, okay. Australian diplomats, foreign ministers and even prime ministers have mused for years about joining the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, the major summit for the region's leaders. The main problem, Asian nations have been, at best, lukewarm about the idea. Could that be changing? The Indonesian president surprised everyone today, telling newspapers he'd like to see Australia join the summit. Should there ever be a time where Australia were um, given the honour of being offered membership in ASEAN, of course we would take such an offer very seriously. But other Indonesian heavyweights are more ambivalent. The partnership between Australia and ASEAN will continue to grow. And even Malcolm Turnbull isn't holding his breath. ASEAN matters are a matter for ASEAN. Australia has not been invited to join ASEAN and I don't think it'll be invited to join ASEAN in our lifetimes. The main reason Australia's unlikely to ever join ASEAN is that getting in is very difficult. The summit works on consensus, so if even one nation wants Australia to stay out, then that's where we'll stay. And that so-called consensus model also makes it difficult for the summit to confront human rights abuses. The UN has accused Myanmar's Aung San Suu Kyi of presiding over ethnic cleansing of Rohingya Muslims, while Cambodia's Hun Sen has locked up lawmakers and journalists. Expect public denunciations from protesters, but not from leaders. We respect the centrality of ASEAN in our region. We respect the consensus model upon which it's based. Some things are only said in private. Stephen Jedrits, ABC News, Sydney.